I don't know. Hey guys, it's me, Soda. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are back with a Barbie video. Look at this pink. Look at this pink. Can you tell it's Barbie with this pink? So, I have a few Barbie things to open. I wasn't planning on getting all this stuff for this video. I thought I was just gonna end up with like one of these dolls. There's been a lot of new Barbie stuff coming out lately. Some stuff that I've been really excited about. And also there was a sale on. It was like buy one get one half price at the time of the store. So I thought I would take advantage of that sale and get the ones I really wanted and I knew that I would get eventually, you know. I of course have two of the new Barbie movie dolls which I have been really looking forward to these dolls and they finally came to New Zealand. I'm very surprised that these ones came to New Zealand. These are like kind of, even though they look, you know, the same, the boxes are bigger and I think they come with a stand, right? Um, and they cost a lot more than this one. So these are like considered the collector ones, but they're not, not really that much different, I don't think. But maybe the quality is a lot higher on the clothes, I'm not sure. I mean, it does look really good, but like, this one was really expensive. Um, so I thought I was only going to get her because I really wanted her. Even though this one, when I saw her, she was definitely my favorite, but I thought I wasn't going to get her because I assumed we weren't going to get them in store, which like makes it easier for me not to buy if it's not in store. But we did get them in store, and like when I saw her, you know, I couldn't. I couldn't leave without her. She's so beautiful. I love this outfit. It's so cute. And you know, it's Margot Robbie Barbie. I'm I'm very excited for this movie. I have been for a while. So you know, these are probably the only two dolls I'll get from the movie. I mean, the Ken looks cute too, but I don't know. I don't think I've ever owned a Ken doll before. <laughs> so I don't think I need him, but these two were must-haves, definitely. And then this one I actually got a little while ago, a few weeks ago. Now this is not a Margot Robbie Barbie, as you can see, it's just a classic Barbie, but I just thought it was really cool because she was really affordable. She was like 25 New Zealand dollars, I think, and like she comes with like a fabric swimsuit and stuff, and like some really cute accessories, and so there's a Ken in as well, and this girl, I saw her too, I want to kind of get her next, she's really cute. I have not seen that one though, but all of these dolls are like really cute and affordable. They're kind of like Bobby Fashionistas except, you know, they come with more and they come with fabric clothes and stuff. But you know, they're not like articulated or anything. But I really wanted her mainly for the clothes to give to my Margot Robbie Barbie because the swimsuit is adorable. I think it's meant to be a reference to the first Barbie doll, like the striped except it's like pink instead of black. But she also has like the glasses, like similar to the first Barbie doll. So I think it might be a reference to that, but this is a really cute doll. I love, um, like, swimming dolls too, so, yeah, I wanted to get her, and I will put her outfit on one of my, on one of these dolls too to see what she looks like. I don't know if I'll actually keep this doll, because it's just a basic Barbie. And then this set was one that I really wanted to get. Um, I didn't think I was going to get it so soon, but I got it for, like, half price because of the buy one get one half price deal, so that was totally worth it. Um, it does come with another another basic Barbie, unfortunately. So I don't know if I'll keep these dolls, but I just wanted everything she comes with, and also like the pajamas she's wearing. Oh my god! But the beard, especially. I actually already have this Vanity too, but this one is different though. It's got blue on it. Um, oh, and the little like dressing gown here. Oh my god, this is so cute. But the beard, I love the beard. It would be so good for like doll photography, little bits I table. It's just a really adorable set. You don't get doll beds anymore. Like doll beds are pretty rare now. Um, so it's nice to see a doll bed set again. Because I always love, you know, little bedroom sets for my dolls. Um, yeah, they just always are really cute. I think I'll start with the Mugarobi dolls. Those are kind of the main ones here. Um, the other two I didn't really buy for the dolls. So let's open these two and then... We'll do the swimsuit one, and then we'll do this one at the end. Like, usually when I do these accessory sets, I just set up the set, like, I display it on my little doll shelf. I don't have a doll house, I have a little shelf that I use as, like, a doll room. I'll probably, like, set that up there and then show it, um, because it's just a bit easier doing it that way. So, yeah. Let's open these dolls. Ah, oh, I'm so excited about these! Look at them. So, this is the Margot Robbie Barbie, so she does have a different sculpt to look Similar to Margot Robbie, she doesn't look exactly like her, but you know, I think it's it's pretty good. I've seen people repaint it and make it look better, 
but I think it's good. These boxes are really cute. I love, like, they're using the old Barbie logo. It looks really good. Um, yeah, these boxes are really adorable. Look at the little dream house. And then there's a picture of her in the back. So the boxes are, like, the same. Um, but this one is bigger because she comes with... Yeah, I can see it. So she does come with a stand. This one doesn't. Um, and they're, like, very different price point. And, um, this one, this doll was... 55 New Zealand dollars, I think. Um, and this one was 120 New Zealand dollars. Yeah, I know that's insane. Like I said, though, it was on sale, so... So, yeah, but that's New Zealand prices, though. That's honestly what I was expecting for New Zealand. Um, do I think this doll's gonna be worth that much? No, but... You know, these dolls sold out so fast. Oh my god, I was so surprised because of the price point. I didn't think that they would sell out that fast, but they literally sold out online, like, so quick within a few days. So I'm really glad I got her because, you know, I don't know if they will keep stocking these dolls if they're, you know, expensive. This, I love this box. I keep seeing it at the movie theater too, like the giant Barbie box, and I want to steal it. <laughs> I honestly might keep one of these boxes because they're just like really iconic. I feel like these dolls are going to be so cool to look back on in a few years. Oh, this comes with a certificate of authenticity. Does the other one come with one? Also, I don't know why I'm doing the more expensive one first, but I just, I'm doing it. <laughs> certificate of authenticity. Wow, that is a lot of writing. It's just all in different languages. Um, I don't really understand why they do these for dolls that are mass produced. Usually this is the thing you do for like limited edition dolls, but I guess it makes it feel more luxurious. I don't know. I guess that's it. I don't know <laughs> why else they would. Oh my god, she's so pretty! She's so pretty. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I think this is the same stand that like... There's some doll that comes with these stands. Is it the Barbie Looks doll? Maybe. Um, <laughs> I think so. Maybe they're, the base is black. I don't know. It's a nice stand though. Hopefully these aren't the kind of clips that break easily. Because usually this kind of plastic does break easily. We'll see. I like your stands though. They don't take up too much space as well, which is nice. And we can just clip her on that. She's so pretty. Look at this doll. Okay, also like, when she's out of the box, the facial sculpt looks way more like Margot Robbie. I don't know, I don't know why, but the face sculpt actually is like really nice. I really like it. Um, the hair though, it's very gelled. I think maybe a lot of people might keep this doll in the box, so it's for like, you know, the display. But yeah, very gelled. I'm definitely gonna wash it because it's just like a big clump of hair. Oh my god, this is worse than Rainbow High. <laughs> But you know, that's just what they do sometimes. Look at this hat. Okay, this hat is actually fabric, which Barbie never does. So like, I guess they did actually pour more effort into this doll. Not trying to be, that sounds really rude, but I just mean like, you know, the past few years, I feel like the quality for Barbie has kind of gone a bit downhill and I don't buy much Barbie dolls because of that. But I do, but I have been like, you know, over the past couple of years buying some Barbie Lux dolls and some Barbie Extra dolls because I do like the quality of a lot of those ones. And uh, my expectations were, you know, really mixed for like what I thought they were going to do for the movie. So I feel like it's really nice to see these dolls, which I feel like these more expensive ones are aimed at adults because I don't think any parent is going to want to spend that much on a doll for their kid. With the hype around the movie, I can understand they're like, let's just make this doll a bit more expensive because, you know, people are gonna buy it and you know I guess they're right <laughs> but it's nice to see that it is actually high quality too like look at this bow on the on the hat it's really nice material it is pinned onto her head I probably will take it off so I can wash her hair but it's really nice I love this like material they've used on the jacket and on her hat I don't know what this is called I'm sure it's called something it's like this it just reminds me of like beehives <laughs> you know like this material but it's really nice like I've never seen this on a doll before and it I don't know it looks really good I love this pastel colors too which is why I love this one just like the pastel pink and blue she looks like marshmallows and I love it oh this is actually so cute oh my god also she's got painted nails which again we never see that on Barbie so love that 
Um, these dolls do have articulated bodies too. They aren't made to move bodies. I don't mind that to be honest. I do like the made to move bodies, but you know, I actually I really like this body type too. I think it kind of looks better for photos. But you know, I'm sure it's really easy to find a, a made to move body that she does match with if you want to change her body. But I'm happy with the type that she's on. I like this type of body on Barbies. It's really nice. Oh, okay, this dress is so cute. Sorry, her hair is like really <laughs> stiff, so it's kind of in the way. Here she's without the jacket on. This is such a cute outfit. Oh my god. I'm upset. Wait a second. It's connected by buttons. Hello? Wait. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? The skirt is not attached? There's actually a freaking petticoat underneath? That's what this is called, right? Sorry, I'm just like taking off all her clothes piece by piece, but like, she has a freaking petticoat underneath? And it's its own separate piece that you can take off and give to other dolls? Okay, wow, oh my god, look, I knew about the fabric undies. I knew about this. This is so cool. Like, <laughs> I know it's like, it seems so small, but fabric undies. I just think it's a really nice little detail. She does have molded on underwear too underneath. So she still has that. But I don't know, the fabric undies, it's just really nice to see on a Barbie doll. Um, the petticoat is crazy. I'm so glad they did that. I'm sure there's probably, there has been Barbies back in the day with petticoats, but that is not something you see anymore with Barbie, so. Also, the fact that it's a separate piece too, like I thought, you know, it would be attached to the skirt, but no, it's its own, the petticoat is its own separate piece. And even the skirt is not attached to the shirt. I thought it was a dress, but it's actually a skirt and a shirt. Um, so that's really cool. <laughs> oh yeah, the thing that I started off was the buttons. Um, she has buttons on her shirt to connect it together. Instead of like Velcro, it's buttons, which is really nice. Petticoat definitely adds a lot. You know, without it, I'm sure the, the skirt would look a lot more flatter, but because of the petticoat, it's super like puffy. Like, look at this. This is... This is so cool. It's like, ah! Just like a cupcake. I love it. Oh my god! Sorry, I'm just, I'm really glad I got this doll. I forgot to point out her earrings. She does have little earrings. Cute little simple earrings. They're very cute though. I really like them. Um, you can undo this bow, you know, if you want to. I'm not gonna do that though. Um, I love like the sewing on this shirt too. Like, it's really nice. The shirt has buttons too to undo it. It's all buttons along here. Okay, wow, all right. I'm really impressed with her, honestly. These are her shoes, by the way. Her shoes are actually very simple compared to the rest of her outfit, but you know, they are still cute. Just little blue heels. Um, no ankle articulation, by the way, because this is just like the, it's just the irregular, like articulated Barbie body. It does not have, you know, extra joints but it does have a good range I do actually really like this this Barbie body it's I think it's just perfect you know but honestly I'm really glad I got this doll I don't think I'll get any of the other dolls that are the same price point but you know that's just because I really liked the outfit on this doll and that was the biggest thing she's beautiful I'm really glad I got her <laughs> I actually really love her um, she's probably my favorite Barbie honestly in my collection but I also don't, I don't have a large Barbie collection, but I just really like her. Also, she does have little little buttons on her sleeves of her jacket too. So cute! I love this outfit so much. All right, let's do this one next. All right, the next movie Barbie is out of the box. She's so cute. She's also a really nice doll. Look at her like, cute little bow in her hair, and I love her hairstyle. I definitely need to wash her hair as well. It doesn't have like product in it, but it's just like, she has box hair, you know? She has that saran box hair, so it needs to be washed and maybe boiled, but that's pretty normal. Oh, one thing I noticed is that like, I think there's like a hair maybe fell on her face when they were painting it. Well, it's like stamped on, right? I don't know. Because there's like a hair like painted in her mouth. Do you see that? So, um, that's interesting. I wonder if I can get that out, but then will that just ruin the paint? So that's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, don't know what that's about. She's really cute. I love this outfit. This is like the iconic, you know, outfit she wears in like 
you know, for the majority of the trailers and stuff. It's really, really cute. She does not come with a stand, by the way. Um, but she does have the same, like, articulation, which is really nice. She has this cute little flower bracelet on, cute little flower necklace on, and these cute earrings. Adorable. Love that she comes with some cute jewelry. The dress is just like one piece and it is velcro at the back. It's not buttons like the other dress. The dress is still a very nice material on this doll. I love the little belt here, the way it's sewn and the way the like, I think these are called like pleats on a dress. or The way they're like made is really nice looking. It looks really good. Um, still a very impressive outfit for like a Barbie. She does not have a petticoat, petticoat underneath though, which I feel like she would have probably benefited from a little bit. Maybe make her dress look a bit puffier, but you know, that's okay. And she has some really nice heels on this doll too. They're just like cute little pink heels. They are a bit bent on the side though, but that often happens. You can just use some hot water to fix that. Um, super cute, really really cute doll this doll is, is excellent as well like you know if you don't want to spend the money this doll is still very high quality and beautiful so I would def still like definitely highly recommend her like I would still definitely be more than happy with her if I could not get this one you know she's still a very beautiful doll um, and I think they did a really good job again her face too I really like her face mold um, I think it looks good you know I don't think it looks too uncanny or anything I don't think it looks like exactly like Margot Robbie, but you know, it would probably look a bit too uncanny if it looked exactly like her. It's like a cartoony version of Margot Robbie, I get that. And she can float down from her house, like in the trailer. Whee! She's floating. Anyways, next, I'm gonna open these two packs. I'm going to show the dolls, uh, and then we'll show like the bed and stuff from this one. Uh, at the end so I have the other dolls out so this is the like beach Barbie she's actually super cute look at her she does have an extremely pixelated face but you know that's that's what Mattel is still doing um, which makes me realize that these dolls did not have pixelated faces thank god um, but unfortunately you know they're still doing that on the more budget dolls but that's okay, I guess. It just, wow, it looks so pixelated. It's crazy. You know, I'm pretty sure this is like considered a budget doll. She's um, a lot more affordable. And she's actually a really nice doll. Like, I think she's a really good price, actually. Um, you know, she has her little pink hat. She has these hoop earrings and this necklace and this fabric swimsuit, which is really nice. Usually they have printed on plastic swimsuits but no this is actually a, a fabric swimsuit that you can remove um she comes with this cute little um wrap thing which is a cheap material but it looks super cute um also look it says a genuine barbie on the back i think a new thing they're doing on all the barbie dolls her hair is actually also very long um i did not realize how long it was and it feels super soft out of the package by the way it's really nice um, which, you know, Barbie has always, um, like, saran, and usually, sometimes it's polypropylene, but blonde Barbies, uh, now the natural coloured hair Barbies, are usually saran, which is a very nice material. And yeah, I like how long this hair is on this doll. Um, she's super cute. She also comes with these shoes, which, <laughs> I don't really love these shoes because they look really funny, because they just don't really sit right. And they will fall off if I take off this rubber band, so I'm not taking them off. <laughs> but, you know, her cute little heels. She's so pink, too, which I love, because, you know, they've been... For some reason, they kind of tried to put Barbie away from pink for a while, because parents didn't like Barbie being too pink. But, you know, I think Barbie can be pink sometimes, you know? And I'm glad that they're going back to that. She's ice cream, which looks delicious, and her phone in this hand with a bracelet here. She comes with this, um little bag. I put some things in there that she came with. Sunscreen and uh, lipstick, I think. Cute. These glasses, which look like the glasses that the old Barbie came with. <laughs> They're kind of cute, I guess, you know, for the beach. Um, the blue just really comes out of nowhere. But they're cute, you know. I probably wish she keep this doll. Even though I mainly brought her for her clothes. She's actually a really cute doll. I love, like, how long her hair is. 
she's just very pixelated. But you know what? Sometimes we're all a little bit pixelated, okay? Now the next doll is the one that came with the bedroom. Um, she's also actually really cute too. She actually has a different face. She's a closed face mold, still very pixelated, but her hair is really nice. It's not as long as the other doll, but it's really nice. You know, it's soft. Um, she's a little like wrap in her hair or something and this adorable little um pajamas what do you call this nightgown that's it it's really cute again i'm probably going to use her clothes for my other barbie dolls but it's very cute she comes with these slippers too which do not stay on her feet at all um <laughs> literally i don't think it's even possible you're gonna probably have to blue tech them on if you want to keep them on because they will not stay on <laughs> at all um and she has flat feet obviously this one does barbie's really coming back this is definitely a huge step up i think if they keep making budget dolls like this i'm definitely gonna buy more i want to get that roller skating girl she's really cute uh this one also comes with this little robe robe that's the word robe or dressing gown oh my god this is so cute oh my god She's really cute. Okay, wow. Oh, even the doll is actually really cute too. Like, for being a basic Barbie, she's pretty darn adorable. So cute. Okay, these are really nice dolls. These are both like very new as well, I'm pretty sure. Like brand new, both of these dolls. So, I'm really loving to see like how much Mattel is like upgrading. I think so anyway. I think this is a big improvement on like the quality and stuff and she comes with all of this so we will set this up in my doll room and have a look now I do actually already have this but you know it is a really cute set and also it has a blue mirror mine has a pink mirror um, so maybe I'll still find use out of it um, but yeah I do already have that one you could buy it like buy you could buy this by itself um, and I did that not too long ago but that's okay. Okay, so I have the bed set up, but also wanted to show you guys what the Margot Robbie Barbie looks like wearing one of the Barbie's outfits that we got. So this is the um, swimsuit outfit that we got with this doll here. And oh my god, this looks so cute on this doll. Definitely so glad I brought that doll just for this outfit because look how cute this is. And the glasses too also came with the outfit. Also, I've washed her hair since filming the start of the video, as you might be able to tell. <laughs> it's been a couple of days. Look at this. She's even holding the ice cream. She's got the little bag. This looks so cute on her. So adorable. I still kept her normal shoes on, though. But she could probably fit the other shoes, too, but these ones just look better, to be honest. And you could take this off as well if you wanted to. I actually, I left her fabric underwear on. I forgot to take them off, so you can kind of see them through that. But look how cute this is. So cute. This looks so good on this doll. And it's actually cheaper than buying, because I'm pretty sure you can buy, like, extra outfits made for this doll. Margot Robbie doll, but they're really expensive, so you could always just get one of these dolls instead. Super cute! Love this. Oh, and it just came with this hat too. But I don't want to take this bow off her head, so I mean, I guess you can still see how it fits. Adorable! Cute! Alright, now I want to put her in the pajamas that came with the doll that came with the bed. Okay, here she is with the pajamas on! Ah! She looks so cute! Now she won't be able to fit the slippers because she has heeled feet. The slippers are made for flat feet. And also I kind of don't want to take the rubber bands off her shoes because then they'll fall off so I'm just leaving them on. But this looks so cute. And then we can't forget the dressing gown or robe. Look how cute. Oh my god she's so pink. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Also I did wash this Barbie's hair as well. And also I realized their hair color is actually is it different? I thought maybe... Hmm. I don't know if it's just the lighting, <laughs> but I thought maybe this girl, this Barbie's hair, was more platinum than this Barbie, but I don't know. Maybe it's just the different hairstyle that makes it look like that. But yeah, I'm glad I washed her hair because it feels a lot nicer than it did before. And I still keep the little curls she had too. Um, 
So yeah, oh my god though. She looks so cute in this. I'm definitely gonna, you know, take some photos of this Barbie in here. She looks so cute. So anyways, the bed. So here's the bed. Um, so obviously I added some like things to it. It does not come with like these little fabric pillows. Um, but you know, Barbie can fit on the bed. It's actually a good Barbie size. Cause it's actually quite hard to find doll beds that fit these size dolls. I think so anyway, I don't buy much. It comes with a sleeping cat, which is adorable. It comes with a plastic pillow over here. This is the only pillow it comes with. Just this plastic one. It's hollowing outside. But you know, so I probably won't use this one. I just kind of kept it here for the um, review. It comes with this, um, which I thought was going to be a magazine, but it's just a piece of cardboard. But it's really cute. It looks like it is some kind of Barbie magazine, though. It really, I thought it was like my scene or something. This like reminds me of my scene. But this is a really cute little accessory, though. I love little things like this. I think it's meant to be a magazine anyway. So the bed has one blanket, so it's a bit thin. <laughs> Just has one blanket, but you know, you can add your own blankets to it. But I really like the um, base thing it has here, this plastic headboard here, it's really nice. It comes with this cute little side table here, which comes with all these things on it, which as you can see, these are stuck to the table, but they do come off. They're just hooked on with these little like hole things. It's kind of interesting that you're gonna have like holes all over this, but I guess it is a cute way to make it so nothing falls out, you know. This drawer does not open by the way, but this is a really cute little little side table. Oh god, things are falling off. It's very cute. Oh yeah, she does come with an eye mask too. She came with this for the Barbie. So I guess we could put this on on this Barbie. But it's gonna look kind of funny, but <laughs> She does come with an eye mask. And then she comes with this desk, which as you can see, I do already have one over here, which I have actually made a review on this desk. Um, and I've kind of decorated it with some stuff, as you can see. But yeah, it is the same desk, but it does have a blue mirror instead of a pink mirror like this one. Um, it also comes with the same accessories. So everything that is on the desk, it came with, except for the pony. <laughs> Did not come with the pony. But it came with all these, which again can, you know, stick onto the desk like that. Came with this little frame picture, perfume, plant, some lotion back there, hairbrush, and necklace. So yeah, the same accessories that the other desk came with. And this drawer does open, but it's a little bit difficult to... There we go. It's a little bit difficult to get open, but it opens. And it comes with this cute little seat. It's a really cute desk. I just already have one. But, you know, I guess I could do something with both of them. <laughs> they kind of do look cute here, you know, if you got two dolls or something to have a sleepover. Um, and the doll it came with, so this is the doll it came with, sorry, I stole her clothes. It's, <laughs> they can't really sit on here because they don't, she doesn't have, you know, a bend in the knees. But I, oops, I guess she could, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> she doesn't really sit on there. Um, so you kind of need a articulated Barbie to sit on here. There we go. That's better. Cute. Very cute. So that is my review for this video on a few different Barbie stuff. Let me know in the comments what you think about the movie dolls and the new, you know, regular Barbie dolls. I am in love with both of them and I'm, I've been just really obsessed with Barbie lately. Um, and you know with the hype with the movie and all these new dolls coming out I'm just really excited to see what you know they'll do next because what they're doing right now I think is really cool and yeah, I'm really loving this era of Bobby right now. So Yeah, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye